Hey flowers, it's your girl friend. I'm back with another video. What's up, what's up, how you doing, how you doing? So this is going to just be a quick little video because I want to give you guys some ideas for this panoramic, <laughs> pandemic, Valentine's Day. Like one of, the one of the best things I love about just holidays where you have to show love and appreciation is how thoughtful that you can be. Um, that includes birthdays, Valentine's Day, and all those kind of things. So you can honestly take this and just not only do Valentine's Day, you can do this any time for your birthday um or whatever festivities for your loved one significant other best friend that you might have a crush on whatever it is this video is for you if you have no idea what to do if you don't know how to social distance stay safe and stay in for valentine's day this is just going to be i think five ideas of things that you can do let's get into it but before we do i want to introduce myself my name is Rita Fleur. welcome to my channel if you're new here this is a baddie of all trades vibes we do fashion hair nails makeup all that good stuff so if that's something that you're interested in please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the bell for notifications so that anytime i upload a video you are notified we're going to hop right into these five day panoramic ideas yes Okay, so one of the first things that you can do, and this is an indoor at home thing um, where it's actually a little bit of money. I think I've always mentioned this. I, I've mentioned this before, I think in my last video last year, but it was for like cheaper options. So this, these options are always going to be cheap. Cool. First, first of all, let's, let's talk about it because <laughs> we're always a baddie on a budget. Okay, just, we're just going to start there. But the first thing I want to say is that we can do a sip and paint. Um, you can do it virtually or you can just do it on your own. Like, Buy all the supplies that you may need at Michaels or like Blix or like wherever kind of like craft store that you may have around you. I actually have like I've done this before and we had like a good time me and Bay like we painted or whatever we talked. It was so fun and um, you can drink, get your champagne, whatever your favorite bottle is, your favorite drinks and you can just do that as a cute little date night in the house and like <laughs> duh you know what I mean. Um, Second option, that was number one. Second option, I think that's really, really like simple and easy, of course, is to like rent a movie. Like, rent a good movie. I know if you have HBO Max right now, um, they are allowing like if a, mo a new movie comes out, like a brand new movie, it's on there for I think 30 days or something like that. So you can watch that movie if you already have the HBO Max. So you can do that and do like some like, um, uh, at home like movie snacks I know people really really enjoy loving movies and cuddling up and you can just cuddle up with a big blanket or stuff like that and then get a little bit you know spicy afterwards it's up to you but uh, don't 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 sit on the, the like dinner in a movie or like a movie night Valentine's Day geared romantic comedy those are super simple and easy and it's even better because now that we're in a panoramic HBO Max is allowing us to watch movies that are in the theaters on our TV. So I think that's a good one, um, especially since that's a, I think going to the movies is really, really popular on Valentine's Day. Okay, so my third idea would be to take, um, um, I don't know how to explain, like do like a game night, but a couple's game night between the two of you. So there are like a bunch of like drinking games, which is games where you guys can like ask each other a bunch of questions. You guys can do never have I ever if you're more into like having fun. If you're a newer couple and you want to like take time to get to know each other, I think that's a great, great way. Um, I will actually list some options in the description box for every suggestion that I make. I hope I'm not talking too fast. I don't want this video to go along and along and along because it's only five quick tips. Like, seriously but I think they're like games for married couples they're games for people who are dating they're games for like so you could also go in um I, this is so random but like you could do like a family feud kind of moment if you want to do like a family game night with like your kids or something and like break up into teams and family feud answers I uh, believe it I was on clubhouse one day hosting like a game night <laughs> I don't know why this happened, but I was doing like Family Feud and I was like doing like, um, what's the thing at the end? The, what, whatever the thing at the end to win it, like the quick track where you gotta guess. Like I was playing that, so that's like what if you want to do like a family based or like a couple based game night. Those are really, really fun things and you can just find those on the internet. Super easy, 
super simple. There's a bunch of games that you guys can play. And then, of course, everything you can pair it with the dinner. Like, you can just pair it with the dinner. Um, in all of these options, you can always do your rose petals and for the end of the night. You're this, you're that. Um, if that's something that you're interested in. Um, you could do a hotel room. I think hotel rooms are booking, but you want to be safe. So most of my options are going to be geared towards staying in the home and staying where you can literally, like, stay safe. <laughs> literally, that's what it is. Okay, so number four would be host a romantic dinner at home. Like, if you have a cute table, go on Amazon, get a cute table call, get like some cult cutlery or utensils or whatever you want to call it, some cute plates. Um, you can even get like those hard plastic plates that like are disposable, but they're not like plastic plastic. I know you don't, like the ones that come with a design. I know you guys know what I'm talking about. There's like a bunch of them. I'll put a bunch down in the description box for ideas for you guys but you can also just throw some of those on a cute little table get some candles light it up like set the atmosphere candles around the room like dim the lights uh cook something fancy if you're gonna cook cook your favorite meal for him or you could even just order out and plate that shit to be honest with you if you don't even want to cook like if you love red lobster and love red lobster delivers <laughs> Plate that shit. <laughs> like for real. Like, but it's up to you. But you or you can cook something romantic. I find it a little bit easier or smarter or better when you're cooking because cooking is about love. And cooking comes from love. And when you're cooking, especially if you love to cook, you put love in the food as opposed to ordering out. Um, I know that some people just want to have the whole dinner experience. And I think most restaurants, if you live in New York City, are allowing you to dine out or take the food out no matter if they were a dine out restaurant before now they're allowing you to do that a lot more so i think it'll be easier to get your like favorite place if you want to go to del frisco's you want to go to felipe i feel like you could get a takeout i'm shocked that felipe and peter lugas might be doing takeout <laughs> were they ever but it's the times so you could even do all of that if you want to be fancy you can do that or you can just cook a meal at home Either or, however you want to rock it, however you want to spend it, you can do a candlelit dinner right here in your living room, your kitchen, whatever. Cute little tablecloths, get the atmosphere going. You could cook him your food and your little lingerie and all that kind of cute stuff if you're going to cook and serve him and all of that. That will be nice and special. So I think that's a really, really good idea to just like bring that restaurant atmosphere with a little special pizzazz to you. You know what I mean? I think that's a great idea. Just saying. That's probably what I'm going to end up doing. Don't bite me. No, but bite me because I told you to do it, but just still. Just like still. <laughs> okay, so another thing that you can really, really do, and I think this is super romantic, is you can turn your like house into like a spa day. Um, depends on how much space you have, of course, but like get some cute robes for you and him. Uh, you could do petties and manis together with each other and like just talk and I know it's cheesy like give each other massages and like relax with each other set the, the mood with the aromas the dim lights I think a spa day at home is really really important um, not even just for Valentine's Day just to be special but literally like the, the, the last year of our lives has been crazy like I know people have been dealing with so much stress and so much craziness. So, like, we all deserve a spa day. So, even if you don't do a spa day for Valentine's Day, host your ass a spa day. Okay, because, sis, I know you need that spa day. I need a spa day. That's even something that you could do with your girlfriends. Like, your friends, like, if you don't even got no boo, do a Galentine spa day. Because we need it. Regardless of who you with or who you with, who you with, you need it. I know you need it because I need it. Because we need it. The world needs it. We need to get the world a massage. <laughs> like, literally. Um, so, I think that that would be a really, really good one. Wrap your hair up, like, like in the movies or whatever. Like, take it there. Take it there. Like, um, Amazon has, like, little pedicure spots you could just, like, buy and, like, things like that. Like, I think, like, that's kind of, like, the fun part about, like, doing it yourself. Because you can get super creative and create whatever experience you would like for yourself. Um, a bonus one is that I've been seeing a lot lately that they're having like virtual cooking classes and virtual mixology classes, which I think are big, big dates for Valentine's Day. So a bonus one is you can take a virtual class of any sort, I believe, um, and kind of have Valentine's Day that way. Um, 
I prefer the more creative, thoughtful, do-it-yourself side. But for those who are really like, uh -uh, I don't even know. Let me just call somebody to help me do something. Or let me just get online. We get on the Zoom. That extra tip and that number six extra is for you. Because I get it. Some people don't have time. Some people are still working. Some people are doing this. Some people are doing that. I totally get it. But, um, yeah. So, those are my tips. My quick tips to have... My quick tips. Those are my quick tips to have a beautiful, beautiful date for Valentine's Day. Galentine's Day. Some of those you can do with your homegirls or whatever too. Because I know everybody don't got no mean or everybody don't got no significant other or whatever. And you don't need one to have a good Valentine's Day safely social distance in the home during the pandemic so i hope this helps you guys so so much thank you guys so much for watching i hope to see you guys in my next video bye